Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I want to discuss how I keep track of my investments. For this I use two tools. The first is CaseMove, which is an awesome third party open source app that allows you to move rapidly move items in and out of storage containers, which is fantastic. Link will be in the description if you want to download it as well. It's completely safe because it's open source so everybody can see the code in there. Um, but it will also s allow you to see the value of all your items based on Steam market price. For this you just load your storage units and you get a nice graph of what items are worth the most and how do you split the value between different types of items or even specific items. Now this is an also awesome overall tool for checking uh, your inventory but it has some downsides since it's hard to see exact values of your items and it only updates steam prices twice a day. This is why I also use an online excel sheet to quickly check prices of specific items I'm very interested in at the moment. Now I will link a copy of my sheet in the description. Um, well, it's a sheet I use, um, someone else built it, but I uh, modified it a little bit for myself. So this sheet was not originally designed by me. But, um, yeah, it's, it's from someone in the Seasical Market Forum Discord, but um, yeah, let's get that out of the way. Now, let's add an investment to the sheet, and then I will go over what everything on the sheet means. So let's say, for example, we've just bought some Antwerp Legend Capsules for market price. Now, we go to the Steam Community Market, we copy the link of the page, and we paste it in this box. Then we add how many we bought and for how much and it will calculate our total investment and how much profit loss we've made based on the fetched current market price which is in the CMP row, community market price. Now it also spits out percentages and totals in the CMP row. Um, Oh, sorry, it also spits out percentages and um, total profits on your portfolio uh, right on the right here. Um, be, be sure to like make, set the range right if you're adding more uh, investments. Now, there are two things to keep in mind here. Number one is the currency you want to use. So you change the number in this link here uh, based on which currency you want to, the spreadsheet to fetch your prices in. So you can check the number um, which you need to use for specific currencies on the website. Um, I will show you right now. So I'm using euros. So I use this number three. Now links to this website will be in the description if you want to keep using it for yourself. Link to the um, street will also be in the description. But secondly, if you use a currency that uses a comma instead of a dot for decimals, um, you need this hidden F column here. And in principle, you don't even have, have to get rid of it even if you use a currency that uses dots. But it's important to keep in mind if you're going to be tinkering with this spreadsheet that you uh, drag this down or if you're adding new investments that you drag it down as well to make sure it keeps using it. Because without, if you just fetch it in commas, it's not going to work. Now, that's all I have for you today. Um, if you um, have any suggestions for my sheet or if you just want to share how you're keeping track of your investments, do it down in the comments. Maybe so you will help someone out. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next.